Right then, so a couple of people were interested in finding out how to make a fixture scheduler for a, a game or for an app. Um, so this is just a video showing how I did it for one of my games. So I've got here the Wikipedia page for round robin tournaments, which is quite um, useful. And this is what I based my algorithm off of. So you can have a look at that. But this is what I did for mine. So I just built a console application to show it. So I've got two classes. I've got my team class, which will hold um, a football team. And it will have the name here. And then I've got a fixture class, which will hold um, two different teams. And will represent the, an instance of the fixture. Um, so I've got the steps here. So going from main, first initialize the teams. And I've got them here, so I've just got four teams. Um, and then the actual algorithm for scheduling is here. So this is it. And it's really simple. So what I'm doing is the number of fixtures that we need to create is always going to be the number of teams divided by 2 uh, multiplied by the number of teams minus 1. So for, um, for a, a, a group of 4 teams, we're going to have 6 fixtures so that each team can play each other once. So we're just doing um, a while loop here. So while we still need to create more fixtures, we're going to go through the list of teams that we've got uh, here, and we're going to create a new fixture and add it to a list of fixtures. So we're just going to say, right, create a fixture with um, team at i um, in the for loop, and then the team at i plus 1. And by the way, we're increasing this by 2 each time. So we're only going to go um, and add 2 fixtures um, per loop here. So once we've done the, added the fixtures, um, we want to rearrange the list. So going by that Wikipedia page, it says that you should keep the very first team in the list um, in the same position. So the way that I've done it is I've started at the last team in the list and I've looked through while i is greater than uh, 1 and then I've just decreased the index value. So we create a temp for switching two positions. So we're basically swapping the teams around um, starting at the end of the list. So the way that works is we'll say, right, uh, the team say second from last, we'll swap that with the one in last place, and then we'll swap the other team around with the one we stored in temporary. So then we'll do that, we'll rearrange the list, and then it'll keep going through and creating new fixtures until we've met this criteria. And then here I've just um, got some simple commands to print it out to the console. So I'll just show you what that looks like, and this is it. So we can see that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it's created it the way we want it to. So that's how you do a round robin. Um, there you go. Cheers.